Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be scanning a hippo toy with its jaw wide open, revealing the tongue and teeth. I'll be using the Revo Point Inspire 3D Scanner and the Revo Scan 5 software for this project. I apologize for not including the scan setup video, which would have shown the turntable and the scanner. In this video, I performed three different scans, one with the hippo standing up, another with the hippo lying on the left side, and a third scan with the hippo lying on the right side. These scans were carried out using standard quality settings, with the hide surface option selected in the software controls, and color scanning enabled. Once the scanning process was completed, it was time to commence with the editing. The initial processing step is fusion. The scanner's output comprises individual frames, and this step converts these frames into a three-dimensional point cloud data. Therefore, I will perform individual fusions for all three scans. After fusion, I proceed to clean up the scan by initially using software tools to detect and delete isolated points. It's important to note that during my editing process, dialog boxes are not visible in the screen recording. The screen dimming occurs when a dialog box is present. In my editing process, the next step involves identifying overlapping data points. According to the user guide, these are overlapping and unnecessary data points in the point cloud. These overlaps can occur due to multiple scanning passes. The software can automatically detect and delete these data points. When managing multiple scans, you have the option to choose batch processing. After completing these three processes for all three scans, my next task is to merge the scans. To merge the scans, I proceeded by selecting all three scans and then clicking on the preview model option. The preview generation takes a bit of time, but eventually, the merged model is displayed. Since the result appears to be a good match, I'll proceed by clicking on this button to generate the model. I chose to utilize features for alignment since I don't have markers on the scans. In some point cloud editing software I'm familiar with, you need to select three points on each of the models, and the application uses these points to automatically align the models. So far, this automated alignment process has worked well for me. I'm hoping there won't be any instances where manual alignment is required, as I haven't found an option for that in the software. This is the outcome of the merge, and I've noticed certain points that require removal. I will attempt the isolated points detection and overlap detection on the merged scan. After completing the overlap and isolated points detection, I proceeded to manually remove all the undesired points that the software didn't identify. I still have much to learn, but for the time being, I'm content with manually refining the scan, and then we can proceed with a test print.
Once the undesired points are selected, I press the delete key on my keyboard to remove them. I decided to fast forward through the remainder of the editing process because there were numerous points that needed deletion, particularly around the limbs and teeth of the hippo. With that completed, I proceeded to create a mesh. There are some artifacts in the mesh, which needed to be addressed. These are holes in the mesh, and fortunately, Revo Scan 5 has a tool for dealing with holes. So, I clicked on Fill Holes, then press the Detect button to let the software detect the holes. After the detection process was finished, I manually selected all the holes I wanted to fill. For this scan, I chose to fill all the holes and clicked on the apply button. The eyes didn't turn out as perfectly as I had hoped, which is understandable since the original toy's eyes are black. This 3D scanner struggles with black or very dark objects and areas. I had to address a minor imperfection on one of the eyes. After some additional editing, I exported the mesh as an STL file and proceeded with the printing. Regrettably, the print experienced a layer shift, but if we set that issue aside, I must say the scan's results are truly impressive. The details on the hippo's body are clearly visible. Thank you for watching this video, and you can find a link to the STL file for this project in the description below. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider liking this video and subscribing. Thank you.